Alright, so I saw I saw Rashhead's video about um, tr like trying to save GPO or whatever the fuck that was, and I have so many ideas for this game and so many opinions that I've just kind of kept to myself. But this is gonna be the video where I'm gonna like pretty much share them. It's gonna be a long ass video too. I'm probably it's probably gonna be a pretty long video, so I mean, get ready for that. I have idea after idea after idea. But uh, first, I want to talk about. At what point was this game declining? And I can say, as soon as update 2 dropped, this game was in a downward spiral. Not fast. As you see, we starting to see an update 4 point, whatever, so 4.7. Update 2 is when it started. Now, why I want to say update 2 started is you have to think, what did they add during update 2 that completely changed the game? Right? Beforehand, you only had public servers and private servers. Other than that, that was, those were your only two ways of interacting with others. Then they added arena mode, and then they added dungeon mode. I, th yeah, yeah, du arena mode and dungeon mode. Later on, they would add trade hub. That would be update 3.5. But update two, they added arena mode and dungeon mode. Now the thing about those two modes, and why I feel like, and I'm gonna say this now, game modes are terrible for this game. The reason why I think that arena mode and and dungeon mode are really like really were a huge part in this game not really feeling the same as it did when it first came out was you're splitting the player base beforehand if you wanted to fight somebody you had to go into a a public server if you wanted to start a crew war you had to go on a public server if you wanted to farm for fruits if you needed help you would go on a public server hey man you're trying to grind fruits i mean yeah some obviously some people would do it in in uh, private servers yeah that was a thing but to really interact with other people where you had to be was a um excuse me really had to be in a public server to really get other interaction which means that you were doing things like making new friends starting crews you know just really interacting with the player base everybody was at shells everybody had you know a hub that was like where everybody was and the reason why i'm saying this is because arena mode and and dungeon mode really killed this game's sense of community because now you want to fight somebody fuck you're going to go on a public server for it which means that this game feels very very lonely back and i'm rambling but like back in update two, uh one and beforehand everybody was in a public and you have to think yeah people were asking for these things people were asking for a pvp mode and people were asking for like some type of a dungeon mode but think that the game was doing fine without it and then now that it got it people are complaining that there's like a content think about it what the fuck was there to do update you know update one update zero you have to think there was really nothing to do but interact with other people now i would if it, if i was for you and if i had complete control over this game i would remove dungeon mode and i would remove arena mode but i would give public server versions of both to where you would still have to be in a public server and interact with other people okay now now that we found out and now that i've like shown to you at what point this game was declining now i i can give you ideas on how to fix that now my idea for how to fix that is to give people incentives and let me clear this up right away i'm not saying to remove arena mode and, and dungeon mode honestly they're staples of this game at this point so to remove them would be very like detrimental to this game right i wouldn't say remove them but if it was like i said if it was up to me i would add different ways i would remove it yeah and then implement it back into the game in another way but okay <sighs> what was i talking about <laughs> How did I forget? Oh yes, okay, okay, okay. Giving people a reason to be in a public server, that is what I would do, honestly. Give people a reason to be in a public server. Make somebody say, okay, this is why I wanna be in a public server. Um, I would start by, and let's start with the Marines first because I have a lot of ideas for Marines. My main idea was making the pirate, uh, excuse me, the Marine hubs or the Marine bases in the game, there are, I think, one two three there's about four not or well five including second c there's about five of them make those marine hubs or those marine areas like actually useful and these are usually the places where you can sign up to be a marine or resign from the marines those you know i would make it so you know if you want to rank up as a marine and yeah i would add marine ranks at, you would have to be you know at these hubs and it'd be like where the marines spawn in right you spawn in at these hubs and there'll be quests for you and like you start off with quests like um 
you know move five barrels into a marine ship you know start off with chore boy crest quest sorry because you're going to be a chore boy right obviously you're going to build your way up the ranks eventually you'll start getting harder quests like you know attack two two pirates and then you get harder quests like um knock out two pirates then you get harder quests knock out two pirates and, and jail them you know like and as you go on as you build your way up the ranks you start getting higher and higher ranks eventually you get to a high enough rank where you can start your own pirate unit or uh, i keep saying pirate marine unit you know just giving people an incentive to not only be in a public server and yes these would be public server only features but to actually interact with other people while you're doing these marine quests you are interacting with other marines it feels like you're a marine you know um it feels like you know you're interacting with other people so then it makes the world this you know islands all these islands it makes it feel alive because there's people doing things there's people there's things going on you have marines over here doing this but back to the quests idea that i have i would make it so as you level up and rank up as a marine not level up as in like um excuse me not level up as in like your actual level but your actual marine rank i would make it so each marine rank like you would then go on to a new base so and i wouldn't make it easy to rank up i'd make it a pretty long while because you want to actually you know make it feel like you're making your way up as a marine you're not going to make your way up as a marine you know in a day but I would make it so okay so if you know the first marine base i'll put a picture of it here if i remember but the first marine base is uh i forgot what the fuck it was called but it's right next to shell town that would be a marine's first base and as you rank up as a marine your second place would be shell town shell town would be your you know your marine base your second marine base where you would start doing quests there where the quests would start getting more difficult um jail two pirates uh knock out three pirates and you know as you do this, you know, you're ranking up and then you get past Shelltown. I don't know. I don't know the Marine ranks. If I could find them. Okay, so I found the Marine ranks right here. You know, you start off as a chore boy, you know, chore, chore boy, sea, uh, seaman first class, seaman apprentice, seaman recruit. Though, you know, that would all be the first area. That would all be the first Marine base. Then you move on to the Shelltown Marine base. I guess that would be, your, you know, your warrant officer, your master chief um, petty officer, your chief petty officer, you know petty officer that would be like you know shell town you know then obviously the next one would be gravito fort which is the next marine base i'd say that'd be like you know captain commander you know lieutenant commander lieutenant lieutenant junior grade you know stuff like that you know and then eventually you'll move on to marine fort which is like an even bigger marine base which would be you know for the fleet admirals the admirals the vice admirals the rear admirals the commodores like the real the real guys you know what i mean so it feels like not only is do the Marines feel like a unit, but you feel like you're leveling up as a Marine right now as a Marine, there's nothing to do. You have, you know, you can jail, but it's, it just doesn't feel like a Marine unit A system like this. And obviously the, the admirals would be the top of the top, you know, the best of the best Marines, you know, it would make this feel like, you know, like something really to get into. You want to be a Marine, you have a whole ranking system. You have, you know, allies you have. And then this would also encourage more people to be Marines. What's the, you have right now, you have no incentive to be a Marine, not even clothing. You have to wear the same old shitty pirate crap or Marine crap. You can't even, like you're still stuck with a chore boy outfit. So anyways, those are my ideas for Marines. I mean, I think that um, Marines can definitely be something fun to do. And, you know, I might, you know, if a system like this would add it into the game, <clears throat> excuse me, I might even make an old to be a Marine because that sounds fun. You know, making your way up the Marine ranks, um, making friends as you go up. Eventually, you'll become a captain and then you'll be able to command your own uh, unit. You know what I mean? That'd be nice, you know, and have the units, the Marine units be equivalent to the pirate crews. Only difference is that you actually have to work your way up to being able to make your own unit. A, I don't know. It's just something that sounds very interesting to me. Something very, very, very fun. Um, and I think that Marines need something to really like spice, spice it up. Actually, Marine clothing. Where's the Marine clothing? We need Marine clothing. Where's the Marine battleships? And that's something else I'm going to get into. The ships. A big part of One Piece is your ship. Why don't we have custom ships? Fuck a custom island. Why would I want to make a custom island? Make a custom ship maker. You know how many, you know, excuse me. You know how cool it would be 
if you could make you know the thousand sunny and not saying you should be able to make it but make something similar to it just make something that's unique to your crew make this the customization system for the for ships unique enough to where you know you could have a ship that's like damn that's and let's say because this is the first crew that comes to mind even though gpo crews are dead right now um the first crew that comes to mind silver moon agz right that comes to mind because agz has a very very unique crew logo now imagine if you can take that crew logo and match it to a ship that would be cool as hell and have his ship have moons on it or whatever silver moon right have it have moons have it look very distinct so when you see him and his crew pull up on that ship you're like oh shit that's silver moon you know uh man you know that you know and, and, as, and as far as ships for marines why are marines riding in normal ships they should be riding in marine ships they should have the marine insignia on it they should be able to have custom battleships they should be able to shoot many cannons out of it you know why <laughs> Like caravels, come on now. This is a marine ship. Like marines are supposed to be intimidating. Why are they riding around in rowboats? But I mean, and I think custom ships will really help the crews. And you know, I, I have more on ships. And you know, I don't know if I'm gonna talk about this video because this might be a 40-minute video of me ranting. So uh, another idea. Let's get into it. I'll probably come back to the battleships later and the custom ships later. Another idea I have is for pirates. I would add a ranking system for pirates as well. It wouldn't be nearly as extensive as the marine ranking system because the marine system is an actual, uh, it's like world leaders, you know, it's like an actual government ranking. But what I would do for pirates is, as well as the bounty, um, as well as the bounty system, I would add something like a notoriety system or kind of like, I don't know popularity system i don't know how you would explain it i'll just call it a notoriety system kind of like where you build your infamy basically i would call them an infamy system where you build your infamy as you go up you know you start off as a low-ranking pirate then you know you just build your way up you would obviously get quests like you know destroy three pirate ships or destroy three marine ships but here's the catch and here's where it's going to differentiate from the quests and the system that i've came up with for marines for pirates, all your quests are going to be linked to your ship. And I think that ships aren't loved enough in this game. I think ships just kind of got a second treatment. We got a few ships and they're like, okay, you will need a ship to do your quests. Your ship is going to be your hub. Your ship is going to be kind of like your base. So in a way, you would get quests from your ship, whether it be like a little corner with a pen and paper or like a little workshop where you have goals or just something where you would get your quest so then you'll go to the little area or whatever the hell it is on the ship and it'll say your goal uh attack three pirates grip three marines you go do that you come back not only are you building your infamy up as a as a, a pirate but you can also build your infamy up as a crew and build your name build your notoriety get you get your cloud up like obviously this would be like the bounty system, just a lot larger in a way, because I know bounty is like capped at what, 75,000? This notoriety system would kind of be like, I guess a better bounty system. Hell, if you want to replace it for the bounty system, that'd be cool as too. That'd be cool too. But obviously, gripping marine, gripping, you know, f famous pirates, that'll raise, your, that'll raise your rank. That, you know, that'll, that'll get you you're up. Eventually, you'll get to a point where your rank is so high maybe you you know you might get a special i don't even know what i'm talking about at this point i mean i don't know just just something for pirates just some, a ranking system for pirates something better than the bounty system because at this point bounty doesn't really mean anything i mean like you lose bounty oh man i lost some bounty it doesn't really like matter you know what i mean i mean this would obviously come along with you know maybe a revamped crew system and like everything I'm talking about now is not really like a whole update. Like I'm not asking for a fruit and a new island because that update is on that type of update is dry. That type of update is, is not interesting anymore. We don't want updates like that. New island, new fruit, new boss. Like, come on now. It's not, it's not interesting. 
but um back on the topic of pirates obviously i would add things like pirate alliances you know i would add things like i don't know rankings within the crew system where when you start a crew you can assign somebody to be your vice captain you could assign somebody to be your commander you can assign somebody to you know just and have them have so people you give a rank will have their own abilities within the crew system obviously if you appoint somebody the commander they should be able to have the power to kick somebody out the crew right i mean if you give somebody the power of vice captain they should be able to do things like kick people out the crew switch around commanders obviously they would have powers like that and you would have you know ultimate power to kick everybody but that'd be nice to give people ranks within the crew um that's something uh, something else that could, they could add along with this with a, with a revamp crew system you know what i mean obviously i'm not you know asking you to be able to add like 300 members into a crew because i know the game wouldn't be able to handle that but like you know just something just revamp and it just you know make it better because honestly just 15 people to a crew isn't enough it never was enough um i think a solid 40 and that might be too much but who knows 40 is good and it's a good number um so yeah obviously you know like i said you would get uh, quests from your ship obviously you know add crews and add incentives for people to just be in public servers you know make a quest that's like yo sail with your crew on your ship for 15 minutes just sail that's the quest and you might be like that's a boring ass quest while you're doing that quest you're interacting with other people who are just sailing who are just sailing the seas and then you go you get into beefs you get into alliances you, that's forcing you to interact with people obviously these options and these quests won't be available for public servers because at that point what's the fun what's the fun in it if you're just doing it in a public server so it can in a private server so it can be easy obviously these would be public server quests same thing with the marine quests but i mean yeah i just think that this game needs this game needs people to interact with each other in a way and i think game modes like the the, the little island capture system unless that's in a public server if it's something if it's like a game mode it's no good i'm 100 percent against game modes in this game i think game modes are killing this game imagine deep woken adding a separate pvp system where you completely leave the world into this other part of the system, into this other part of like this is completely separate from the wipe system and completely separate from the depths where you could just do PVP against somebody. That would completely ruin the immersion of Deep Woken. And I think at, at one point GPO had immersion too, but it just was taken away. It, it just wasn't there. The, the addition of these game modes took away the game's immersion. When you had to be in the game, you had to worry about getting gripped. You had to worry about other pirates. You had to worry about Marines and you had to sail the seas and you had to grind up level up here and you had to do it while watching your back, while building alliances, while building crews, while, you know, building friends, making enemies. It was fun because if you felt immersed into the world, um, I think something else that can help with this world, like to immerse you into the world, um, adding NPCs. Now they did a good job with NPCs at Sandora, uh, or excuse me, at, was it Sandora? What the hell was that called? Alabasta, I'm sorry, at Alabasta. They did a good job with NPCs there because they're walking around. It feels, and sometimes when I'm at Sandora, I keep saying Sandora, Alabasta, when I'm at Alabasta, I'm like, wow, these NPCs really do help with this world immersion where you feel like this world is alive around you. Deep Woken is a good job at that. And I will admit, Deep Woken is not a game for me, but I can admit that Deep Woken has done a lot of things right that GPO just needs to take notes from. Um, adding NPCs to other parts of the world, walking, roaming NPCs that you can interact with that will maybe tell you something about the island. Now, I'm not asking you to make this completely extensive lore system and this, you know, care and this like system where you have to build you know you have to be charismatic and have a charismatic stat that's deep woken i don't expect you to do all that but what i do expect you to add is maybe add you know people walking around npcs that maybe tell you something maybe a little lore about the island obviously not extensive but maybe just a little hint maybe it'll give you a hint of you know a secret of the island you know just just something that that will immerse you into the world obviously roaming npcs would make that a lot better because you feel like you're actually on the island when you go into an island and it's dead and nobody's there, the little NPCs walking around can make it feel a little bit more alive. Um, that's another idea I had, you know, but I don't know. I just I just want to see this game. I don't want this. I feel like this game is going in the wrong direction. 
I really do think that this game is going in the complete wrong direction. And I, I honestly, I mean, at the, end, at the end of the day, who gives a fuck? It's ICDO, right? 11,000 subs and a dying channel. So it's like, at the end of the day, what say do I really have in anything? So it's like, you know, but yeah. Let's see, any more ideas that I had? I mean, that's really it, man. That's really it. Just get people in public service and make people interact with each other, man. Oh, how did I forget? PvP. And this is something I had a lot of thoughts on. I was very confused when people were crying that they had nerfed. Uh, they had completely gotten rid of um, move stacking and afro dashing, which were both glitches. People wanted them back. And I was very confused. Why would you want a glitch? You know, a game breaking glitch back. I mean, it, it lets you do things that you were never meant to be able to do. Why would you want that back in the game? I just couldn't wrap my head around it. And then I figured it out. Um, why people want it back. I started playing ABA. <laughs> and when you see how brain dead and busted that game is for a fighting game, you begin to realize the Roblox community does not want balanced fighting games they want fun fighting games they don't care if it's balanced or not i mean obviously a little balance here and there but like i'm playing aba and come and when i think of fighting games i come from games like tekken street fighter where like it's really all about balance and if it's not balanced you're gonna fucking hear about it the community is gonna fucking make you patch that shit but yeah so and i'm playing aba just broken shit after broken shit like Kirito, Khalifa, just all these characters that's just fucking brain dead. And I'm like, why are these characters, characters that one shot in mode, characters that auto one shot in mode, just honestly insane shit. But again, like I said, it just goes to show that Roblox fans don't want balanced fighting games and that's fine i mean if you still find it fun that's more power to you so if i was in foe shoes i would add things like afro dashing back i would uh revert soto dash i would um add things back like move stacking because if that's what the community really wants fuck it you know what i mean um obviously and my i just was so confused i was like why would you want to glitch back a glitch why would you want that back in the game but and then it, it makes sense like once i got to aba and i started playing aba which is honestly a fun game even though sometimes it pisses me the fuck off <laughs> i mean yo i have never rage quit so much in my life like i rage quit like all the time on aba but like it's fun i can say it's fun even though it's unbalanced and sometimes just completely cheesy and bullshit i can say that i have fun so um that being said, that goes to show me that people on, on Roblox community don't really want balanced games. They want, you know, fun games. And and if if a little unbalanced shit is what they want, hey, give it to them. And if they want Soto Dash, give it to them. But uh, uh, old Soto Dash pack, give it to them. But as far as my ideas, that's where they end. That's everything I wanted to say. Sorry for this being a long video. It's just I've had so many thoughts. And because this isn't really my type of content, I'm usually joke content. I don't really get to air my opinions too much beyond jokes. So like, I'm really happy to be able to make a video like this. Um, yeah, I mean, if you agree, comment, comment your own ideas. Maybe I'll do a part two or more or better ideas on how they can change this game. But as far as game mode ideas, completely against every game mode in this game. I think that game modes are going in the wrong direction for this game. I don't like game modes. Game modes are bad, in my opinion. Obviously, you can argue in the comments about why you think they're good. Um, I'm open to different opinions, but you know, I just don't think game modes are good for this game. Anyways, thank you guys. Comment, like, subscribe, and thank you. If you made it this far, honestly, you're a whole W. Like, I really do appreciate it. If you made it this far to really hear my ideas, but um, thank you, man. Thank you for watching this far, and love you.